We are a religious state. We are going to fight to keep that filth out of the state of Oklahoma because we're a Christian state. This is what Representative Tom Woods said when asked about the death of Next Benedict. Next Benedict was a non-binary person who committed suicide the day after being physically beaten by two students in a Oklahoma school restroom. Good morning, everyone. My name is Angeline Guarderas, and today I'll be talking about LGBT plus conversion therapy dependencies. To begin with, the College Board stimulus that I that I decided to use to come with to come up with this research question is moral courage and intelligent disobedience and Alicia's cold belts, a small measure of justice. Um, from moral courage, many uh, quoting from it, many sources quote Aristotle as saying, "Courage is the first of human qualities." because it is the quality which guarantees the others. LGBT plus people have been the target of discrimination for decades and it truly takes an act of courage to continue to fight against these factors. Moving on to Alicia Cobalt, uh, the quote in the article says, I was completely unaware of the lawsuit and I was ashamed of the neglect by my government. This is the largest class action lawsuit ever filed against the US, so how come we, so why weren't there front page headlines all across America about this story? This shows us how generally people aren't educated in factors that pain minority groups because they are very rarely talked about. Uh, to clarify some definitions of the concepts that I'll be talking today, LGBT plus conversion therapy is a pseudoscience and discredited practice that attempts to force LGBT plus individuals to change their sexual orientation or gender identity and identify as either heterosexual and cisgender. Social constructs are an idea that has been created and accepted by the people of a society. These examples include countries, languages, religion, etc. Thus, my research question is, what social conscience is LGBT plus conversion therapy dependent on in the US? And thus, my thesis is LGBT plus conversion therapy is dependent on social constructs in the US like politics, religion, and education. First, first I will be talking about politics. Here we can see in this map of the United States that all, that all the states with uh, dark green are states that have law laws that ban conversion therapy for minors. These are only uh, 20 states with zero territories and not including Washington, D.C. Everything with uh, green lines striking through the states and, and the senior territory of uh, Puerto Rico have partial bans on conversion therapy. These are four states and one U.S. territory. Unfortunately, there are some states that ban the banning of conversion therapy. These includes, these includes um, uh, three states, which is Florida, uh, Georgia, and Alabama. The remaining 23 states and four territories are uh, states that have no law or policy banning uh, conversion therapy. Moving on to the other factor pol of uh, politics, anti-transgender laws are laws that reject the concept of gender identity and enforce the belief that one sex is determined at birth. Anti-marriage laws are ones that deny the validity of same-sex marriage and anti-protection laws are laws that limit the ability of government officials to pass laws providing protections based on sexual orientation and gender identity. These laws support programs such as conversion therapy as they deny the validity of LGBT plus individuals. Anti-protection laws are especially terrible as they limit protections for LGBT plus people and supporting practices such as conversion therapy. Moving on to religion. Here we can see a map of the U.S. on license to discriminate laws, which in, which uh, taxes of exceptions are overarching uh, adoption, foster care, and counseling. These laws allow for religious exception, where people can deny service for LGBT plus people on the basis of religious beliefs. And while not stated here, there are laws uh, that allow healthcare providers to deny patient care for LGBT plus individuals. 57,000 youths around the entire country would receive conversion therapy from a religious or spiritual advisor before the age of 18. Faith-based discrimination uh, towards homosexual people is vast in, in religious communities, with their reasoning being that homosexuality is a disgusting and moral sin. So these communities would conduct conversion therapy on a lot of LGBT plus youths. Moving on to education, here we can see in this infograph that everything in purple are states that have LGBT plus inclu inclusion uh, uh, curriculum on LGBT plus education, which are only in um, seven states. Uh, four states have an opt-out possible option for LGBT plus education. Uh, five states have laws that have LGBT plus inclusion prohibited in, 
education, and the remaining states all in yellow are no LGBTQ plus specific laws. A lack of education leads to many holding on to the misconceptions of sexual and gender identity, thinking that these identities are problematic, stigmatizing LGBTQ plus people, thus believing that conversion therapy is a legitimate practice. Moving on to another factor of education, uh, subject matter of banned content, such as like banned books and other type of banned conduct, 41% uh, of uh, these bands were on LGBTQ plus themes, protagonists, or predominantly secondary characters. The censorship of uh, LGBTQ plus context uh, grows ignorance and misinformation through, uh, throughout society. This leads to the stigmatization and discrimination of LGBTQ plus people, which thus leads to people believing uh, that, LGBT, uh, that conversion therapy for these individuals is legitimate. In conclusion, LGBTQ plus conversion therapy is dependent on social constructs of politics, which have lack of bans in support of anti-LGBTQ plus laws, religion, conversion therapy is performed by religious institutions and religious-based discrimination on LGBTQ plus people, and education, lack of education and censorship on LGBTQ plus people. And here's my work cited. All right, two questions for you. First up, um, how valid and reliable were the sources that you used, and then how do you know they were? Okay, so all, all the quotes are uh, uh, not not talking about the College Board stimuluses, but all the other uh, quotes used in the presentation were by academic peer-reviewed journals, and all the infographics were by uh, legitimate uh, and reputable organizations. And uh, if you had more time, what additional research would you conduct? Uh, I think I would have probably add how there's a lot of uh, psychological uh, results that happen because of conversion therapy, as conversion therapy is essentially uh, torture for these individuals as they use a bunch of torture tactics in, that, uh, in uh, conversion therapy. So I would have possibly used that in my presentation.